Join the team. Hey team, this is the McGuire Review, and today we're going to be taking a look at another one of the dungeon crates. This is September of 2020. We just got done with a video for July and August of 2020, which was a double shot. This one's just going to be a single shot. Looking at just the month of September 2020, I am excited about this one. Now, the seal has been broken. I have not looked what's in the box. I did refrain from doing that. Uh, it's been hard the last couple of days. It came off when I took off the, the shipping label. It is what it is, okay? But now we can get into it and unbox September of 2020 Dungeon Crate. All right, so let's get in the box. One thing I will call out real quickly here is don't forget about your uh, Dungeon Crate coins that are right here on the side. Um, we don't always draw attention to this, but you do get these little Dungeon Crate coins right here that are on the side, which you can use for cool stuff. So if you are getting this box or it's the first time you're looking at maybe trying out Dungeon Crate, make sure to take advantage of the channel code that we have here to save yourself some cash. Don't forget about these little coins. Okay, so let's open up September. Whoop, let's make sure that the candle does not light the box on fire. That would be quite the video if that happened. All right, so we got a little piece of paper here on top. I do like the little little paper, or sometimes they put the little wrapping paper that's on there. It does kind of keep it from jiggling around and does make it look a little better as well. Okay, we've got some cool stuff in this box. Good Lord, this looks awesome. All right, so uh, at Mars... Uh, cardography, dangerous traps and obstacles. This is a Norse foundry and creature curation. Looks like a uh, partnership here powered by Fate 5E. So this is definitely for your Dungeons and Dragons side. This looks really cool. We are going to get the cleave and open this up, but it looks like you're going to get some cards that you can do traps and obstacles. That's an awesome that's awesome. We're going to open that up here in a second. Um, got a miniature here. Basilisk. Man, I always have trouble Make sure I'm pronouncing that right. This is going to be a Dark Haven Bones miniature. We will open this one up. I like to get these out. You'll be able to see this up close here uh, on the cam when we go over. And that is a really cool little sculpt. I like that one. And it's, and it's really small too, uh, which is nice. So we got that this time. There is a giant d20 it's kind of got that um sort of uh, i would say bone kind of creamy look to it with the nice black letter letters it is you know a plastic resin die nice big nice big d20 we have seen some of these in the past i do have another one here uh i want to say yes this this came out of a dungeon crate as well this big purple and black d20 which i store right back here but here's another one and i do like the look of that just kind of a classic it's more of that classic simple look so that's pretty cool there is a dungeon crate pin and i think this is yes it's kind of it's almost like a it's almost like a um kind of a magic marker sort of pin it's got a nice you know thin thin right to it these are actually really nice little little pins they do include, and it is branded and marked with the Dungeon Crate, which is cool as well. So we'll put that right there. Um, here is the actual code. So again, in every one of these crates, you're going to get a special code. You're going to be able to use this code on their website and then get your digital crate for that month, which there's a ton more things digital-wise, PDFs, different things you can download that go with these crates. Don't forget about taking advantage of that. Um, there's a lot more value that you're getting with the payment of getting the physical crate, there's a lot more value that you're getting here with this downloadable stuff too. So don't don't miss out on that. Here we have um, a couple items. I love when, and here's that, that miniature that goes right along with that. So they will theme a lot of this stuff. So it's right out of the box. You're able to use these things together. I love the little monster and item cards that they they put in, you've got the awesome artwork on the item cards. All this stuff is reusable, again, not just with what's going to be in the box. And then on the back, you're going to get all the information for those items or those particular monsters uh, or characters right there on the back of those cards. Okay, so you've got those. Um, let's. Well, we've got another miniature. So it's a double miniature month, which is pretty cool. This is the Black Dragon Wormlings. This is awesome, Wormlings. This is awesome. I love this one. This is one of the Wizards Wizkids 
sets. I love these. We do a lot of these on the channel as well. This is the unpainted, but it is, and we'll go ahead and open this. It is all ready to go. So it's primed and it's ready to be painted. Oh, and this one's really cool. It comes with the actual Black Dragon Wormling that goes right there on the base. That is cool. And then you're also getting this other little cross, little little skull and crossbones. Well, the, the bones aren't really crossed, but, but that is really cool. It's almost like a separate little piece that you can get. And it doesn't come with an individual, um, unless I threw it away. No, I didn't. Um, it is interesting that it didn't come with its own little uh, base as well, but I, I do have a number of these that I can put that on a base, and maybe it's just not meant to be on a base. It's just more of kind of like a little terrain piece that you can set down. So maybe you don't really need a base for that. Yeah, it probably looks better without a base. You just would set that down on your map or whatever you're using to uh, to do your adventure. This is a really cool piece. I have not seen this either for some reason. I have not seen this one in the stores at all. That's a really cool piece. And then now we have our, what I like to call kind of the one shot little encounters scenarios that you can reuse for about anything. This one here is a, a deck chart for any level. Okay, hearts, spades, okay, a deck chart. I wonder if it goes with this, I'm not really sure. Um, it looks like you can, you know what, we're going to get this open because this is a full deck chart. So you can use any deck of cards. I think this is just, you can use any deck of cards because it's got hearts, spades, diamonds, and clubs, depending on what you pull, uh, this is what will happen. So this is a really cool little, just random kind of deck chart. I love that. And then here, the stealing, stealing the sword of Musra, a level eight encounter. So what's cool about these is they all will be marked with the proper level that you need to be for this kind of little one-shot or this little encounter that you might be able to run into. It's not really a one-shot. It's more of like a, a side quest or an encounter that you would hit. Save these over time, and then as your characters progress through any campaign, okay, the characters are about a level eight. Okay, what do I got for level eight? Okay, this one sounds good. We're going to do this one because maybe the environment they're, that they're in is similar it's very cool. Lists out all the things that you're going to need to do for that encounter, front and back. There's going to be uh, different items, weapons. It have mentioned different types of things. And if you've been getting these crates, you'll find it's interesting that a lot of the things they call it. So a bugbear. There's no bugbear that was in here, but there was a bugbear in some of the prior recent crates that you can use even for these. And you'll find that these items here will go right along with these. So you'll have the items as well for these little encounters. And then we do have a um, Hell and High Water. This is a Dungeon Crate Adventure. So this one's more of what we would consider a one-shot. It looks like now they're starting to do a little bit of the encounter as well as the one-shots, which is pretty cool. And what's nice about these is on one side, you will get the 5E rule. Normally you'll get the 5E rules and you'll also get the Pathfinder rules as well. I'm not sure if this one does that this just looks like it's in 5e uh it's for a level seven so this is a level seven one shot it does look like this or maybe it can just be applied now there's stat blocks so this looks like just a 5e sometimes you'll see these and they'll be sort of double-sided and you'll have to turn it around and you'll get the 5e as well as the pathfinder this this looks like it's just 5e. I'm not sure exactly why. Maybe you can find the Pathfinder on the digital the digital download. I'm not sure about that one because I haven't looked at the digital content for this month. Uh, but this one does look just to be 5e. Maybe this is more of a 5e setup. This was 5e, so maybe this crate just focused more on the Dungeons & Dragons side of the rule set. Then we have our double-sided card here. Again, further build out even more of kind of that tavern setting. And then we kind of have sort of a inside of a cave type look and setting. So we'll put that right there. And then you do have a single piece of marketing that was in this one. Use code Dungeon Crate for 10% off. Order a coffee. Interesting. I love coffee. Uh, Adventurer's Coffee. Nice. Adventurer's Coffee. I might have to check that out. So we got the Adventurer's Coffee. All right, team. That is September 
2020. You know what? We're not going to end there because I said we would open up, getting out the cleave, I said we would open up this. This was one of the coolest little items that I think may be in this. We'll just be ever so slightly careful with the cleave. And let's open, man, that fell off. It would take off my toe. That would not be a good video at all. Well, not for me, it wouldn't. So let's once again get in here and we're going to, okay, slide that open. And here we go. So we've got that, we've got that open. Now we've got that open. Oh, man. Ugh, okay. So we'll get this plastic out of the way. I love the top look of these cards. This has got a really cool look, kind of the sapia with the, the dungeon sort of drawn out on there. That's got a really good look. And they all have the same look on the front. Let's flip it over. Let's look at what we got here. Okay. All right. Loving these cards. They're nice and bright, as you can see there, depending on what they are. And they do have a little bit of a different coloring. So let's see what we got. So spring-loaded door. So it's got the nice artwork of the door, a little spring-loaded door there. That's pretty cool. We've got a tilting floor. So I love the artwork. And then you can sort of randomly pull from here what type of trap or encounter you run it that this is nice the spiked ceiling i love these decks like this the hot steam jets okay then we got a troll guard statue web covered pit explosive gem pile that's interesting that's a new one all right and then let's get the ones that look more blue are they any different falling icicles treacherous bridge thin ice okay so it looks like things that would be more frost related or kind of blue um, things that are just more like direct hit kind of things or like this orange things that are more, uh, puzzly look like to be yellow poisoned mushrooms. I love the artwork on that one. And you'll be able to see some of these from the overhead cam rigged flamethrower. That's an awesome one. Elemental shrine puzzles. Here's a bunch of magic. Ooh, what's this electric disc discharge from the, from the, uh, chest there. Okay, and it goes on and on. There's just there's so many cool things in here. Uh, and then it looks like there are a couple ones here at the very end that just probably kind of point you to if you wanted more of this type of stuff. This is cool. This is a great item for this month. And then that is where we will end the video, team, after we've had a chance to look through this awesome deck. So don't forget about Dungeon Crate. Go and check this out if it interests you. And do not forget about the channel code either for a little bit off on that monthly purchase. So hit that like, click the subscribe below to join the team. Keep rolling them crits. This has been the McGuire Review, and we'll see you next time!